Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is your hippy, dippy painter man coming at you from beautiful Key Largo, Florida. And welcome to the Fluid Art Express. We're down here in the caboose of the train. I hope y'all are, are happy today. I hope you're having a good time. Um, hope you saw everybody before me. You know, if you missed anybody, you can go ahead and... Uh, and uh, hit that little link in my description and it'll take you to the play all, play them all. Now this week's special guest is the very lovely and talented Miss Betty Kahn of Oak by Bettina. And I hope y'all will check her out because she's an amazing artist and a good friend of ours. Now, what are we going to do today? We're going to do something, in the words of the great Monty Python, we're going to do something completely different. We're going to attempt, and now, <laughs> those of you that know my history know we've tried this before and it hasn't come out so great, but we are going to attempt to do, one more time, an injection pull. Now, the reason it's going to work this time, number one, is because of you awesome people out there wishing me well. <laughs> and number two, because I got me some smaller syringes. <laughs> To do the injection with. So let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this little thing right here and it's gonna sit down there like that. And the reason I put that collar up is because I need depth in my base paint in order to get these injections in it, right? So we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna fill that up with Sherwin Williams Color to Go Tricon Black. Okay? And then the colors we're gonna be using today are Chartreuse from eye candy Rory from eye candy which is a color change color origami from eye candy also a chameleon style color Tanagawa River from eye candy also a color changer and last but certainly not least ghost blue from eye candy now these colors uh, are all either interference or chameleon colors and the reason that I'm using them is because they tend to look mega awesome, cool, and black. So if this pops up through this color like I'm expecting it to do, it will look really, really neato. So without further ado, shall we begin? Hey Dad. What Buster? Let me say hello. I know, Buster. Hold on. Hi, I'm Buster the Crab, and you know I'm really fab. I love you people out there. I am so glad. I hope you're at least 50% as happy as I am. <laughs> All right, Buster, sit down. Okay, now that Buster's had his say, without further ado, let's put this little boogie right in the middle there. Now, some of this is going to pour out of the bottom of it because... I have not got a completely clean cut on there, it's just the way it is, but I'm going to try and not get it too much out of there. We're going to put it right down the middle, put a whole bunch of paint in there. It's going to flow out, but I'm going to see if I'm faster than it is. Okay, here we go. Let's begin. This is the origami. Down there. This is the ghost blue. Down there. This is the chartreuse. Oh, come on, don't drop out. Alright. This is the blue color, the Rory. And certainly not least, is the last color. The Tanagawa River. Back down in there. Now the point of this is to put the color underneath the paint and that way it will pop back up to it. Now I was going to do two injections for each color but I tell you I think I have enough color in there. Let's go ahead and let this go. Oh wow guys look at that. 
that's pretty funky now for some reason it came this way I did level my uh, board before I did this by the way I'm working on a 12 inch hexagon today um, hexagon tile and I did uh, make absolutely sure that I had that level before I started but um, it doesn't believe me obviously <laughs> because it's flowing this direction done made a mess I didn't put my gloves back on when I did that so I got black all over me now how about that <laughs> genius hey just a genius buster well you are okay but in this context genius means dummy I know buster I'm sorry now you better be sorry remember I'm the one that feeds your eyelid <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and throw some flame on this because I want to get the bubbles out before we spin. There's a few there. All right, I don't think I got them all, but I got some. Now, now the black paint came out this side. You would think that there would be more on this side already yes there is however the more that's on there is just black paint doesn't have any color on it so I want to spread that out and make that a little more even all right now what we've got here guys is quite a bit of color separation uh, which is cool I'm gonna take and swirl these colors in together with just a little bit and do a little right there and we'll do a little bit of this a little bit of here and a little bit of here and a little bit of here all right now let's see what we get when we spin well that's pretty cool I'm gonna put a little bit more black down here and let this slide off some more well, that's pretty neat and now now that we've got that spread out the thing to do now is go ahead and do some swipes with a CA and that's going to blend those colors nicely also let's do some buff on this because it'll look good on the black um, we're going to start from this side right here Set that down. See what we get there. I'm going to not use this one for the second one. I'm going to use this one because it's more controlled. That long tip on it just doesn't seem to work for me. So I'm going to put that on there right quick. This is easier to dip too. And we'll turn this around here. Go ahead and start uh, right here, I think. There we go. Much better. Over here. Huh. Oh, another color. All right, we're also going to put a little bit of bronze on this with this right here. There we go. From this side now. All right, and we'll go over here on this other side and drop a little color in here. 
maybe a touch in the middle. We'll see how it looks with the color over here first. Put this down. Huh. Let's put this from this corner. I think I'm better with doing this towards me than I am away. It just seems like it. Because I can see where I'm going down into the paint if I do it towards me. You're completely going down into the paint. Not on this side, not on the front side, dude. <laughs> going down in the back, I guess. There you go. Back to the buff. Let's go over here. Alright guys, let's spin it a little bit and see what we come up with. Let's go this way this time. I don't like that squirrely you did to that CA. I don't like that at all. The, you're talking about the beige right here, right? Me neither. Me neither. I think that came out pretty darn cool, don't you? I like it much better since you covered that other all up. Pretty. Yeah, it was just too big of a blob there, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, boys and girls, um, in the hippie vernacular that you've become accustomed to, I dig it. Can you dig it? I like it. I will call this one a success. I kind of like it. All right. Yeah, can I see it? Yes, Busty, you can see it. Hold on. Well, I will. Don't worry about Buster. Well, did you hear her, Mommy? She said, don't worry about me. I know. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I like it. I like it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like that part too, and that part, and that part. Okay, Buster, enough, enough, enough. Say goodbye to the people. Hi, people. And do not interrupt me when I do the ending. Um, uh, yeah, right. I'm gonna go over here to that. Whatever. Let me lift this up. Get it a little closer to you guys. Show it to you here. All right, here we go, guys. I'm getting up here closer so you can see it. And there she is. Look at that. That looks beautiful in the light, huh? That chartreuse really shows through. And now as this dries, I think we're going to get some more color from the interference colors too. We will see. But that's what we have right there, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed today's presentation uh, of the Blue Dart Express Caboose. Again, if you didn't see anybody, including Sweet Betty, go back and watch them because uh, all of them are well worth your time and consideration. Fantastic artists. And uh, you should go back and see what they're doing today. Put that down there. If you like what you see to seen today, uh, please do hit that like. I know it's hard to remember to hit the like. That's why I am reminding you, if you hit the like, I would appreciate it very much. If you're not subscribed to me yet, please do subscribe. Uh, we'd love to have you in the Hippie Dippy family. Come on in, kick your shoes off, put your feet up, stay a while. Um, if you want to see what the crazy hippie and the cool cat come out with next, go ahead and hit that little bell and uh, bring down the side menu there and click on that all like this. And uh, the reason you want to do that is because if you don't do that, then oh, YouTube gets to decide what you see. And if you do, then you get a notification on everything I do and uh, you make that decision. So uh, that being said, make sure that you stick around for the dry results, which are right after this. But as far as your interaction with me for the day, until I see you again, same but time, same but that channel. Peace out. All right, guys, when I saw what this looked like in the light in here, man, I had to bring you in for a flyby in the bright lights in this other room here. And you're seeing a shadow on there also. The closer you get, the more shadow you see. So we're gonna go back here. And I will try and, I'll zoom in on the, on the actual footage, you'll see it better. Let's go here. Over here. Here. And there. Okay, stick around for dry results right after this.